Yo, what's going on guys? Kevin here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a chimps challenge here on Logs. The easiest map, as we all know. It's where all the challenges that everyone loves takes place. It's where you get your first two Mega Pops, your first two TC. Hell, maybe even your first one tower only. But today, I'm going to do something that I'm sure has been done, but I just randomly thought about it and I thought I think it'll be fun. And that's doing a chimps game here on Logs where I can only use the puddle. And... At first glance, you might think that just means water towers only, but that's not true because I could eventually get a carrier flagship, which, depending on how you look at it, is still within the confinements of the water because it requires the water for a tower to be placed on carrier flagship, so I'm going to let it count. I'm not sure if I'm going to take great advantage of that, but it's a possibility for me. So, I'm going to give this little wacky challenge a try. I would like to mention that I'm sick right now, so if I sound a little goofy that's why but i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe as always i would highly appreciate it comment down below any challenges you guys would like to see me take on in the future i was doing one of your guys' suggestions earlier today but it, honestly it got boring it's not that it is a bad ch um challenge but it was just really easy so i didn't really see the need for doing it but yeah I'm definitely hoping to get Admiral immediately. I can only fit so many towers in here, and a lot of my extra help will for sure come from a carrier flagship. But, I mean, it's still pretty good. Man, two subs and having one go that one path would be kind of cool. I do think, if anything, you're going to be a top path sub probably better Ooh, is that i think that's fine because i think i could put a boat here and put a boat here okay now we got a boat out and this will definitely be a top path now i think i'll go for a decamo sub and that'll be basically my entire camo defense maybe i'll get something else alongside it but as for the carrier flagship, I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting on the uh, little helipads it's got, whatever they're called, the little platforms it makes, but I mean, there's a lot of options. An alchemist seems very good because it's an alchemist. Alchemist? Wait, is that right? Why does it sound stupid? I don't know, it's alchemist. Okay. That sounds so wrong. Anyways, but that would be good. I also like Boomer, <laughs> as always. I just, Boomer is a top three tower, I think, at this point. I do think it goes Tech Zone, probably Grandmaster still, and then Boomer. I think it did beat out Archmage, which does hurt my soul a little bit, but let's be honest, it's so good. Glavelord, Glavelord's good. I also like Permacharge, but the bottom path is just whatever. Hmm, I could get, <laughs> I could get an ice tower, freeze the pond, and put like any land tower here that's a little too big to go on the boat, so I could potentially put like, no, I don't think a super would fit, but that would be kind of funny, or like, it'd be hilarious if I went for a plane instead. That would be gimmicky beyond measure, but, I mean, could you blame me if I did it? Um, Bluntonia will be nice to decrease the cooldown on abilities. And the consistent decamo. I'll probably get it eventually, but I think I'm going to prioritize getting aircraft carrier next. Alright, here's the Moab. I could have got aircraft carrier last round, but I don't know why I didn't. I was looking away. That's the answer. And, yeah, that easily murders the Moab. So, this is pretty good. Honestly, this defense should be solid for a while. I don't believe I have to worry about much. So, hopefully, that means I can get carrier flagship. Man, I hate aircraft carrier to carrier flagship. I know flagship's, like, more important than an aircraft carrier, but it doesn't sound as cool because, ooh, flags. I want to freaking plane i don't like it it needs a better name maybe that's just me 
It's just generic. Like, Bluntonium Reactor sounds better than Carrier Flagship. I'm ranting about something nobody else cares about, but here I am. I'm so stupid. Oh. Okay, I walked away for a few minutes just to go to the bathroom, and uh, here we are in round 58. We have access to Carrier Flagship. We honestly have had an easy time. I like that. I, uh, on one hand, I like it. On another, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I think I'm fine with it. Whatever. I, I like this challenge so far because you're limited, and I'm not sure how this is going to do against the later rounds. Like DDTs, how the hell does this defense beat DDTs? Right, I can only get one more tower in here. Or, well, I think I could get... Maybe I can get a couple subs in here. I don't know. Mm, probably not. So, it comes down to putting something up here, which, I again, I think I'm going to go Glaive Lord. It's just so good. And then... I don't know. Maybe, you know, a Mad might be smarter, but I need to be able to pop the stuff from the inside and carrier flagship isn't exactly good cleanup and this isn't gonna allow me to afford both mad and glaive lord hmm. i don't know i'm perplexed for sure either way <laughs> Ooh, i figured it out Hold, hold up, hold up. I, I know what I'm going to do. I might still get Glaive Lord. I'm going to get Glaive Lord. I should commit to that idea first. So let's get this. All right. Here in a minute. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to see if I can get a preemptive strike. I think a first strike will do fine. But if I can get a preemptive, that's good Moab damage. I've got great support for it. It's getting boosted by both Brickle and the Carrier Flagship. And the Group Pop Power would be covered by Glaive Lord. It's a classic, you know, you got something for the Moabs and you got something for what's inside the Moabs. It's just that combination, but a little more quirky. So, I'm gonna try it. I could definitely afford it by... Well, probably before 95, because there's a lot of money to be made. So let's start going for it. And I believe... Um... I'm torn. I'd say it's best to go top path for the infinite range, but I don't think that actually hits the front. And the bottom path makes the ballistic missiles even better. But does it improve any of the other ones? This just improves Ballistic Missile. Which, I mean, I'd be okay with that. But Infinite Range sounds better. I'm gonna do Infinite Range. Maybe that's a clown move. It's not really infinite, because I don't have anything hitting the front. That was a clown move. I'm gonna commit, though, because whatever. What do I gotta do about it? All right. Round 80, we got the ZOMG. Um, I know there's nothing to say here. I could drop that bomb, which would easily pop this thing, but I don't even need it, so. Yeah, we're more than okay. But we do get first strike, which is very good Moab damage. I don't know if I need Blue Antonio for that decreased cooldown or not. I'm gonna hold off on getting it, because it's a bit of money, and I would like to save to see if I do get preemptive soon the sooner the better really this is funny i don't know what it is about this it's like this for my moab damage and this for my cleanup i probably would never have thought about it other than for this challenge specifically like i've done master bomber glaive lord which is a bit funny because it's like two hooded nerds but this is different it's a guy in a submarine and a hooded nerd. Here's the question we're all asking. How good is preemptive? It murders the ZMG. Phenomenal. Round 90, and yeah, we almost have the preemptive already. 
We got the first few DDTs. They look like they get kind of far, but I don't think it's going to be an issue because they get decamoed. And then they'll be killed by all our Moab killing powers here. So, yeah, I'm not actually that concerned. Also, we'll go blue Antonium. Now, do I... I think I go bottom for the boost to it, right? Wait, does that make it better at decamoing or the damage? I don't care about the damage. I just want to be able to decamo quickly. I'm going to try it. Whatever. I know the middle path gives the lead damage, but I don't really care about that. Oh. That means it could still decamo the... De yeah. I don't know why you want to be able to decamo the DDTs without it. Does that just have natural... Uh... Camo detection for DDTs? Because those ones just died. They just got Bapu be taken out of this universe. Man, I keep saying that. I've said it for like the past two videos now, and I don't regret it. I don't care what it's originally from. I just remember it from an old, uh, a classic YouTube series I watched recently. Or re-watched recently. I don't think I need anything else. Man, this is, this is really good. <laughs> I know this is Logs, and it's infamous for being the easiest freaking map on this earth. It's not. I probably would give that to Cubism. But, I mean, this isn't much easier, if it is easier. It's not much harder, I think is what I meant to say. I'm just stupid. But, yeah. Are they get an Energizer? Is the money going to be there to max this Mother Hubbard out? That'd be awesome, to be honest. Cool society we live in. Now, what's something nobody would expect you to get to finish off the game? If I don't, or want to get Energizer, what else would I buy? I'll see. I'll think about it. Oh, I probably should have saved that for 98. Oopsie poopsie. A certified uh-oh moment right there. I think it's fine. Okay, 98. Let's activate this. Are you still set to strong? Yeah, so I mean, I might as well drop that. And hold off on putting this in the ground until now. And yeah, we're good. Okay, let's get Energizer just to have it, really. And how do you finish the texture? Get, get, get an overdrive. Hopefully that wasn't stupid. Oh, it's definitely not. Oh, you know, I could have saved that and instantly popped this, but it's whatever. Yeah. This is a good defense. Okay. I think it comes down to log being logs, but man. <laughs> I would never have used these two in the same universe if not for this game specifically. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as always. I would highly appreciate it if you did. Wait, where am I at? <laughs> I don't know. Join my Discord. The link to that's in the description below. Comment any challenges you'd like to see. Also, if you guys have watched a lot of my challenge videos for balloons, let me know your favorite. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm going to look through all the challenge videos that I've done, and I'm going to try to see if I can think of a favorite, but... None come to mind right away, but I'm kind of curious because I've done a lot of these. I've done about a year's worth now, and that's kind of crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Gotta need a cough drop. <laughs>